Hello and welcome to this week's video. So I'm in the mood for spring and I really wanted to do something that was cute and fun. So I've used my Venus and these are watercolor pencils. I think they're watercolor pencils. I'm not sure. They're kind of vintage. So they're either watercolor or just regular colored pencils, but they kind of dissolve in water a bit, so I like to use them. Anyway, I've sketched them out, and I have three colors. I have pink, indigo, blue, and an orange. And so now I'm going to go in and use my ink tints to... Uh, color it in so I thought I would bring y'all along for that it's been a minute since I've used this palette so I'm going to go ahead and clean this off as I mentioned in my last video I am in a different recording area before I was using the dining room which is open to the rest of the house and that worked for a really long time for me, but I just wasn't getting the privacy I needed. I was often interrupted, which happens when you're in a, a shared space. But so recently I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos of ideas for recording and privacy and all that. And I came across some videos on turning a closet a walk-in closet into a recording studio or home office basically so I have been busy doing that over the past I want to say it's took me about two weeks to kind of perfect it a bit um it's still not perfect like it's not voiceover quality, um, like audio book quality, but I do think that my audio has improved and my privacy has greatly improved as well. Okay, so I've gotten those. Let me turn that around. I don't know. I can't decide. Should I use the water color brush that came in it i'm also using um instead of my phone to record with which i used to do um i've been recording with um this webcam that i have so i think i like it better because the autofocus on my phone was just kind of driving me crazy to be honest i don't think i will use this and that is icky inside there. So, but so that's a little mini update on me. And hopefully, I'll get better privacy. And now, obviously, since it is a walk in closet, um, I, you know, it's a pretty good walk in closet. I've got at least. I'm going to say, I'll have to give y'all a look at it sometime, but it it's kind of like a 10 by 10 size closet. It's, it's pretty decent. And I was able to fit a desk in here. I'm just going with some water. And let me get that mouse out of the way. There we go. A desk in here. I've got bookshelves in here. So... Yeah, um, okay, I think what I'm going to do is go in on this lightest color of blue. Let's go in with the, it would be this blue here, right here is the one I want, the bright blue. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I, I have it like all my watercolor stuff in here I was able to bring my little trolley cart in here and um 
anyway, uh, but I'm not going to be able to do like large pieces like in acrylics or in oils because it's too small of a space. So if I do something like that, I'll I'll be going back to uh, the dining room for all that, all that stuff still in there with my supplies okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just getting enough paint over here and this isn't like some official uh tutorial it's just kind of a paint and chat type of thing so i'm going to rinse that off really good and then i'm going to grab me some water and I'm just going to wet this big circle so I'm going to work on this coming forward I'm just going to go over that and as you see it does that blue does kind of mingle in or blend in with that which I don't I want it to do a little bit of bleeding around it because so I will come back later and clean up anything that needs cleaned up this is part of it too because this is his shadow coming through there so we'll let that bleed that way eventually i would like to get my uh new office space closet studio we'll just call it a closet studio um better soundproofed a little bit more so that possibly i could do or play around with doing a little bit of voice work you know I'm kind of looking into the audiobook thing because I do write children's books. I wanted to see about how that all would work and maybe doing my own. So we'll see. I like learning new things and experimenting, so doesn't hurt to try something new of course y'all my art channel will always be here and okay so i'm gonna drop some of this into here and let that kind of mingle and do its thing now these ink tents even though they work a lot like watercolor you will get hard lines, so you want to work quickly and in layers. I can't stress working in layers enough. It works for me, but hey, you do you, right? I just don't want these hard lines in here. Not today, hard lines. I really enjoy these ink tents. I did do a review on them. If you haven't seen that, I will link that down in the description for you. And, uh... They really are nice. But just like with anything else, they can have a, a bit of a learning curve to them. 
Just don't let your edges dry on you and just kind of keep them moving. There we go. And that there's going to be a shadow too. Yeah, Easter. I love the springtime. Okay. I kind of don't like this in here, so I'm going to drop some of that in there and let that shadow do something. All right. I like it when two colors mingle together. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and move on to his egg, which is going to be on the yellow side. So let's... yellowy orange but I want to start with the lightest color here and go ahead and let it mingle If it turns out green, no harm done. This is a dinosaur, right? Because I will be coming back and darkening that up, probably adding a bit of orange in there. Okay. Sometimes I just run out of things to talk about, but and then I'm going to come back into this. We'll come into this color. Go ahead and grab some of this orangey color. Mix it in with my yellow. Last week I did that abstract and I absolutely was surprised how it turned out and how fun it was but some weeks you just need well I just need a little bit of detailed work some character work and I'm going to leave it light in areas where the light will be hitting that. But come in and try to soften out my edges a bit. I'm not going to worry if that grass bleeds into it. Um, Feel like this would be a little more in the shadow here as well. All right. Now back here, we're going to have a lot more shadow. 
I think for the shadow on the egg itself, I'm going to dip into some of this old... Well, I did pick the wrong color. I want the uh, ultramarine and that. I just... Okay, it's this color. Yeah. I'm going to come in with a bit of some of this ultramarine on his shadow. And like I, I say quite often, I'm just working from the back forward. Okay. A little bit of negative painting there. I like that. Let's fire in a little bit there. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to do some more of that, but mix it with that. Blue and come in here on the inside of the egg and do a shadow there. There we go. I can come in and add a little bit of gray to that a little bit, maybe. Another thing I love to challenge myself to use the biggest brush possible and only switch to a smaller brush when I absolutely need to go in and start some finer details. Until then, I'm going to go ahead and add in a bit of gray to that. But I was saying, until then, I like to to keep it a bit as big as a brush as I can because you're gonna not get as many streaks and just works better that way. Fun. Okay, I like the inside of that. Now we're going to come over here to this side and do the same thing over here. This is going to be a lot of shadow in here, so first I'm going to get my area covered, then I'm going to go back and fire in there with some drops around here. Some artists say you shouldn't do that. Listen, I'm tired of people saying, don't do this, don't do that. Oh, you should. Art, the rules can be broken. The only rule that really should never be broken is don't steal other people's stuff. Other than that, experiment, have fun. Okay, I feel like a little bit more of this ultramarine back here on him. Because only through experimenting will you learn and discover new things and what works and doesn't work and why. Okay, I like that. All right. I do. I like that. I don't want to mess with it too much. I know there's going to be 
much more of a shadow down here as well, but like I said, sometimes you're afraid to mess with it too much. Okay. Art has been such good therapy for me. It really has. Let me come in with some highlights later, but now I'm just trying to get get my initial layers down. All right. Okay, that's what I was wondering. This is kind of looking weird to me there. I think this is part of the inside shell. There we go. Mm. Okay, I might have to let that dry and remove some of this that's, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's all right. We get pretty good at fixing mistakes. Okay. I'll come back and fix that in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and start on my dinosaur. And I think I might make her this little brownish color. I don't know what color is that. That is burnt yellow ochre. Okay. I'll come back and fix her eyes in a bit. Yeah, fun little piece. All right, bad weather, bad weather alert. 
Okay, you guys, I had to make a little run for the uh, tornado shelter tonight, but all is well, because obviously I'm back recording in my closet studio. So, now let's see where I left off. Um, oh yeah, I think I was working on his ears, I think, or her ears. It's beginning to kind of look like a dog to me. <laughs> but we'll try. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, you can never really judge at this stage, I don't think. All right. Leave some of that white, too. Yeah, that's the thing about living in Texas. You know, you, you get your springtime storms, and that's just, that's just a part of it. But... All is well, I'm happy to say he came through. Well, um, probably knocked around some trash cans, but really other than that, didn't do too bad. Oh, do I have a pink color? This will dub as pink. I'll just get it watered down quite a bit would help if I put my face behind the mic I mean in front of it rather than <laughs> behind it just gonna go around that Not too bad. I will put some highlights on it. Okay, let's do his, his mouth area here. Him, her, I don't know. First I thought it was going to be a, a her, but now it's like, I don't know. It's just a dino baby. All right, I think it would help now if I go up here and do this top egg part here. Get that out of the way. I have missed, I think this is the first art, well, it's like a week. I haven't done any other art, and I've missed it. Well, I do like working in with these uh, ink tents. They are quite nice. Okay. The good thing about kind of getting it drawn in first is you don't have to be too precise and worry about it too much. Come around in some of these shadow areas there. Is that there? I don't know how that got there. Okay. 
but we will fix it. Another great thing about working in layers is you can do a lot of nice corrections, whether that's color corrections, going in and refining shapes, All right, so I think I'm going to come back in here in this dark area and darken it a little bit more. Along this cracked shell back here because it's kind of just getting lost. And I want to go really dark with that. There we go. I actually find negative painting and coloring in very relaxing. Even when I work in Photoshop and I um, like racing things or, or filling in, I, I like it. Doing like little corrections. Spot corrections is what I'm talking about. Like whenever I do an illustration, um, I always then scan it into Photoshop and touch it up with a little spot corrections and things like that to get it ready for print quality. Okay, I like that side. I'm going to do the same thing on his other side there. I'm just kind of mixing that gray in with that, that bright blue that I had. eggshell a little bit of depth there. The Derwent, they also make uh, pencils in the ink tents, and I've not tried those yet. Those do seem interesting, but I already have so many art supplies that I just don't know if I need any more. Okay. Use this 
come in here just a little bit darker and try to make better sense of this back here. There we go. Because it's just kind of getting lost. But we're not seeking perfection, just, just in our journal anyway. Yeah, I think it looks better with more than one layer. Okay. I'm going to try that. I think that looks a bit better. And I'm coming into this uh, same blue, but I'm going to really try and water that uh, down because I want to come in and put in a bit of a shadow here. Around that. Okay. Let that part dry and then I'll go over it again. Let's see, also want a little bit of a ground over here. Let's grab some of this brown, bring it in, and I just want to come in like this. give it, bring it down to the ground. Things always seem to look better when you add a ground line to it. Okay. Now I want to come do some dots on his egg, but I still think that I need just a little bit more orangey color. Some of this orange in there. All right, let's try that. I'm going to come around parts of this. With some of this orange. Try to blend some of that in with my other. Bring that yellow. I almost waited too long on that one. Thank goodness I didn't. All right. All right, there we go. I'm going to come around 
and do a little bit more back here. Maybe back in here. Or down in here, I meant. Just trying to give it some varying shading. Or hues or whatever. Whatever the proper word is at this moment. Values. I don't know. I can't think. It's a little bit late, actually. <laughs> but I wanted to get this done today. And the storm kind of set me back a little bit. Okay. Now, yeah, let's work on uh, a little bit more on his shell here with the dots. What color is it? I think I might do some greenish. Or is that one? It's a dark. Green, ain't it? I like that one. I'm going to come in and work on some of these circles, little egg designs, and we're going to make them some polka dots. Doesn't quite move as good as watercolor, but still quite nice. All right, let's see, there's one back in here. I probably will go ahead and speed some of this up because it is deep, more detailed work. It will probably take me a little bit longer. And then I will leave it off with the final details and the final picture up for you. Well, I certainly appreciate you listening to me ramble on as I create my dino bunny. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps my channel grow and I upload at least once a week. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.